Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Sneha, and this is my first AlterConf. Um, thank you. I'm going to be talking about getting over the fear of uh, my technical interviews, more like from my perspective, my experiences as a college woman in tech. Um, I graduated May 2017 uh, from the University of Pennsylvania with a master's in computer science, and I'm currently a software engineer. Um, by the age of 22, I had two degrees in computer science, four software engineering internships, and seven job offers in like various tech fields, including um, software engineering, machine learning roles, uh, decision scientist, cognitive software engineer, and like risk manager. Um, a lot of these companies that offered me full-time roles uh, during the fall semester of my final year had rejected me for like internships just like one semester before during the spring uh, semester of the previous year. I was thinking about like what changed. Did I just get smarter over one summer, <laughs> or did I like? do a lot of different things and use my experiences to gain more confidence and get over my fear of uh, technical interviews. I had a very love-hate relationship with computer science when I was first introduced to programming. I realized I like computer science, but I might not be really good at it. I'm not sure if this is the path that I want to go into. Um, experiences like being the only woman in a team and like internships or like projects in college or being younger than everyone else in like grad school, uh, things like this like um, uh, made me a little unsure. Like I was very confident about, um, like I was confident in my ability to do well in academics, but I was very unprepared to face job interviews. Like I knew I was good at something, but I was terrible at letting other people know or showing that I was good at something. Um, I had a lot of self-doubt. Um, uh, I was afraid that I didn't have like the required technical or algorithmic skills needed to score a position at a tech company. Um, I get I got rejected a lot in the beginning. Like I told you guys, uh, I either didn't get an interview, or when I did get interviews, um, I didn't make it past the first few rounds. Uh, this quote from like Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets reminds me of like the countless number of technical interviews where I was like, oh, this question's too hard. I'm not even gonna attempt it, or it's in my head, but like I can't explain it. Um, but anyway, I'm I'm gonna talk about uh, the different experiences that slowly helped me gain more confidence and get up, get over my fear of technical interviews and get like the seven job offers that I did. Um, the first one is like stepping out of my comfort zone. This is a very big one. Um, traveling miles away from home, from my home country, like halfway across the world, was incredibly challenging. Um, I grew up in Bangalore, India, and I did my undergrad there. Um, and then I graduated when I was 20 years old, and then, and then I came here for my master's. I was very overwhelmed with all the like older, more experienced, uh, like. Um, other students are doing so well. Uh, I was no longer just like a woman in tech, but like other minorities, like I was like a woman of color in tech, and I had different cultural backgrounds. Uh, but it was amazing because it helped me be more stronger, more aware, and more thankful. Uh, it introduced me to a lot of new opportunities. Uh, I, let a, um, I met a lot of incredible people, did research with a lot of amazing professors. So there's so much to learn when you move to a new place, meet new people, understand different cultures, like I highly recommend this. And when you get over a challenge as big, everything else seems a little smaller <laughs> than that. Um, the second one is hackathons. Um, when, I, when I first heard about hackathons, I think when I was an undergrad, like, I thought they were super cool, but like I was too afraid to like go to one. I was like, I might not be good at this. I can't build something in a day, um, or like I don't have any ideas. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But like when I went to grad school, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this out. Um, so Penn Apps is like the University of Pennsylvania's um, 
it's actually a hackathon. It's like the world's largest collegiate level hackathon and I participated in like three pen apps while I was there. All three times my team made it to the finals and we also won second place once. Uh, well, winning, while winning it, um, hackathons helped up my confidence levels, it's not as important as like um, how much you learned, how much you contributed, how much you enjoyed working on a project that you were passionate about. Uh, I love hackathons because it, it lets you work on a project where you get to decide what you want to work on, um, the tools you want to use, and work on projects that you care about. You get to meet other amazing uh, like people in tech or meet company representatives and learn a little more about what they're doing. Um, this also puts in a lot of different experiences other than like the regular like college projects that you do. So I so every time in like internship interviews when like pe the interviews would ask me what are you most proud of? I had something to talk about. Like I loved uh, like I this was like a great opportunity for me to put across my passion for using like computer science skills to solve everyday and like interesting and challenging problems. Um, so I did talk about this in one of my interviews. Uh, I got the internship offer, and later on in my internship, my manager actually told me that talking about this was my, uh, what um, differentiated me from the rest of the interviewees, like solving the co successfully solving the given coding problem was important, but like not necessarily what got me the job. And that, um, sorry. <laughs> Doing more internships is the uh, next one. I did four internships over my um, four years or six years of college. Um, doing internships gives you a lot to learn, not just tech related, but there's like so many other things that you can learn. This was uh, me with the other interns when I interned at Audible um, in New York, New Jersey last year. Uh, I interned at companies of various sizes and domains. Uh, this. They were very unique, different experiences, and they allowed me to add like a lot of new technologies and skills onto my resume. Uh, it also helped me decide what I wanted to specialize in grad school because I worked on different, like different domains, different projects in all of my internships. Um, although I did four internships, it was my final internship where I committed to like under promising and over delivering. There were some things that I did differently in this internship that helped me deliver more than what was expected as an intern. Um, I interacted with employees of different roles so I could understand what the different career paths were, uh, tech and other related tech. Um, I um, interacted with other interns so I could talk to them about their teams or their managers to see if they were like doing cooler things than I was. Uh, I talked to like, some members of like the senior leadership team to understand their vision for the company. I had a mentor outside my team that helped me get through uh, the internship with the least number of challenges. I had a mentor within the team, my manager, as well as like other team members that I talked to to get like continuously get feedback, understand our product better. Um, be involved in both like the business and like technical decisions for my project so I could understand like my project users and goals better. I, I held brown bag sessions and understand like the overall like structure of my organization. Right? I got great feedback, I got like an employee social media highlight as well as a return offer. So it felt great to know uh, I felt great uh, to know that I did a good job and successfully overcoming all the challenges, the problems that I solved, the work that I did. It provided a very like satisfying end to an amazing internship. The next one is like diving deep. Um, I did a bunch of like research assistantships and teaching assistantships when I was in college. It's like a great opportunity to work in like new fields with new technologies, so that things that you don't necessarily learn about in your classes or course projects. Being a TA was very challenging, but it teaches you how uh, like to de uh, dive deep, uh, derive satisfaction from helping your classmates do better, and like when you teach someone, you understand everything much better. Uh, my master's thesis, uh, that was kind of what I was presenting there. My master's thesis was like the most challenging thing I've worked on. Uh, I remember spending many sleepless nights trying to fix like this one problem. Uh, but like it was worth it in the end when I got to like successfully defend my thesis. I submitted it everywhere so I could like talk about it. Um, 
um, at conferences, I understand my work better, um, and like also publish a paper. So even though I don't use that work at my current job, I've had multiple other teams at my company come to me and tell me how my research was helping them solve um, their hardest problems. So it really feels great when I hear that. Yeah, I talked about this a little bit, but like networking, conferences, and presentations. Uh, I love going to conferences like this one <laughs> because like I get to network uh, with people with, from various backgrounds, and it's always very exciting to do that. You never know who you, who you meet. I remember um, interviewing with this one company uh, um, last year. Um, and I didn't do well in that interview at all. I knew it was going to be a reject, um, so I like didn't follow. I didn't hear back, so I didn't even follow up because like I knew it was going to be a reject. Um, so like a few weeks later, I went to Grace Hopper. I was presenting my research there in the student poster session. There was a senior employee who worked at that company who was just like walking through the posters, trying to see what the other students, are, what students are up to. And then he was very interested in my research and he told me how um, my research was like a great fit for like one of the products that he was heading, right? So he asked me if I wanted to interview and I was like, well, actually I already interviewed with the company, but I haven't heard back. And then he's like, okay, uh, then like I got a call like, uh, like two hours later, and they were like, <laughs> and then they were like, "How do you think your interview went?" And I was like, "Um, I don't think I did that well. I I was having a bad day. I had so many more other interviews." And they were like, "Yeah, well, you didn't do that well. Uh, but guess what? We, if you want, we can give you like a second interview." And I was like, "Yes." So like, I studied really hard for like the second interview. I did much better, and then I got the job, and that's where I work now. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, you never. <laughs> so you never know who you uh, who you meet at conferences. Like my advice is like no matter what stage you think your projects are in, if you just got to start on something, if you're almost finished something, just submit them everywhere. Like presenting them either as posters or speaking sessions at meetups or bigger conferences or at your school. It just like helps you understand your work better. It, it helps you like network with other people as well as like like sharing your knowledge and you don't know who it's gonna help. Like I always love it at the end of my talks when people come to me and tell me how uh, my uh, research or like my work can actually help uh, their problems and some of those problems I'd never heard of before. Um, so that, that, that's great. Um, this is something I shied away from in the beginning but it really helped me like make more contacts and understand my work better. Uh, the last one is like mentoring and being mentored. Uh, this is like a very important one. I feel like I had great mentors going to one's classmates that helped me continuously challenge myself and uh, deliver results that exceeded expectations, right? Both at school and at work. Uh, while you're an intern or even in your everyday job, like try to have a mentor both like within your team as well outside. Uh, so it gives you like diverse perspectives and lets you understand like the industry better. Um, mentoring people is equally as beneficial as being mentored. We always feel like maybe, or at least like college students always feel like oh, I, I need to be mentored, I need to get all this advice, but maybe I don't have uh, enough like skills or the knowledge to advise other people, but that's not true at all. There's always younger students. There's so many, uh, there are other people who can learn from your experiences. Uh, so I signed up for like learnatgirl.com where I like uh, taught a girl from Mexico how to learn Python. I led a lean intern um, circle in New York City last summer, so that was my circle. And we met up once a week, did fun things in Manhattan, helped each other out. Uh, that's when I understood that I wasn't the only one who was like facing like other uh, struggles with interviewing and stuff. So it's, uh, it's great to help each other out. There were people that had trouble in their companies where they couldn't talk to other people. So it's a great way to connect people to like your own companies. Um, I was also like a student advisory board member for the Advancing Women in Engineering program at my school. Um, and like I started another like women in tech like chapter at my workplace. So these are great experiences. You get, you get to find people to, and you're like helping each other out as well as you help other people find other mentors and mentees. Um, 
Also, like networking just gives you like more insights um, about like the industry you're in, and it also increases your or mentoring increases your ability to help others as well. And for interviews, like try having like uh, like finding like an interview buddy. So like if you're trying to apply to the same companies or interviewing with the same companies, it's always helpful to like try to prepare with other people. So like you work together to find like more efficient, better solutions to like hard coding problems as well as like review each other's work. It's, it's been very helpful for me. I learned so much from all of these experiences in like two years that when I got back to the campus last fall after my internship, I was like so much more prepared for like the upcoming interview season. I was like, bring it on, I'm a lot more ready now. Um, I got more interviews, um, I did much better, I went to more conferences, I made newer connections, and I secured more interviews and then it like went around in a circle. Um, I was able to solve like more harder problems with more ease. I had much more to talk about uh, at my interviews and I was ab also able to like convince the interviewers that I could bring more to the table than what they could see in like a 45 minute technical interview. Um, I just wanna say that the key for me was to like focus on problem solving, putting aside my fears and believing that my abilities were not any lesser than those of my peers. Um, Internship and job search activities can be very tiring and stressful, and it can really uh, affect the self-confidence of some people, um, but that's okay. This is a very incredibly like challenging field. It requires you to constantly like think outside the box, step outside your comfort zone, and push yourself to be the best that you can be. It's really hard. Um, you, want, you will want to like give up at times. I certainly did, but it's really worth it in the end when you're able to land your dream job. So, thank you.